In this video, let's do a quick start review for Google Forms. Google Forms is a free web-based tool for creating and distributing online surveys, quizzes, and forms allowing users to collect and analyze data easily. First, let's go into our Google App Launcher at the top right of our screen. Click on the dots. Look for and click on the purple vertical rectangle with three white dots and three white lines in the middle of it with the word Forms underneath it. Once we're in Google Forms, we could add a blank new form or we could choose from any one of the templates. We can also see the recent forms that we had been working on or reviewing. Let's say we need a form in a hurry. We are about to give a presentation at a conference and we need a quick evaluation form whose link we could share in the Zoom meeting or which we could write on a dry erase board. So let's make a Google Form exit survey. Let's click the plus or add sign. Once we have a blank form open, we just need to type a title, type a short description, and add a question. Google Forms default to a multiple choice type of question, but once we start typing our question, Google will suggest the question type, which affects how the question can be answered. Our question asked about the most interesting thing that the participant learned in our presentation. Google automatically suggests the question type of paragraph. Paragraph means that the participants will have a lot of space to answer. We can click on the tools arrow to change the question type as well. Since we only have one question, let's click required at the bottom so that participants have to answer the question in order to complete the form. Not clicking on the required button makes the question optional. Before we could share the form with others, we need to confirm that we want to start accepting responses. So we need to click on manage. Then let's click from not accepting responses to accepting responses, and then we'll click save. When we click on responses at the top, we can see where our responses or answers will populate. When we click on link to sheets, it will first ask us if we want to create a new sheet. Let's say yes and click create. And then it takes us into our Google Sheet where the responses that participants type in their Google form will populate and are also stored. These responses, as well as your Google form, are automatically saved and can be found in your Google Drive. If you are having trouble finding something that you recently worked on but don't know where it's saved, click on the Recent Documents tab. Back in our master form, at the top of the screen, we'll click on the copy responder link icon. Then we could copy and share the link in a Zoom chat or on a Canvas learning management system page or an announcement, or we could email the link or just write the link on a dry erase board. This has been a Google Forms quick start video.